In John Grisham's book, The Firm, his lead protagonist goes to work for a group of lawyers down south that does business with the mafia. And to keep its lawyers in line, the firm spies on everyone. Why? Well, they need damaging information on their own employees. They want to know if one of their employees is having an adulterous affair. Why? To use it against them, to keep them in line. And apparently Fox News took a page out of Grisham's novel, The Firm. We are now hearing reports that a senior producer for Maria Bartiroma is willing to testify under oath that she was asked by Fox News management to spy on Maria. Why spy on one of your own anchors? Well, to find out if she's loyal. Is she looking to go someplace else? Or, as seems to be the case with Maria Bartiroma, Fox News executives wanted to know if she was sleeping with Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy. Apparently, the rumor over at Fox News was that Maria Bartiroma was sleeping with Kevin McCarthy and management wanted answers, or at least Tucker Carlson certainly did. When Maria's producer moved to go work for Tucker Carlson, that's the very first thing he asked her, is Maria Bartiroma sleeping with Kevin McCarthy? Now, you don't only spy on your anchors just because the people at the top want gossip. Fox apparently asked workers to spy on their anchors and other employees to get actionable dirt, to make sure they do as and say as they're told, to make sure that they can't go anywhere else or ask for more money without the muck that's been uncovered, bubbling to the surface and humiliating that employee, that Fox anchor, who's either thinking of leaving or of scorching the place should Fox decide to fire them. And it's important to keep in mind that Fox News is not an outlier. This is how politics, Hollywood, and corporate America have always operated. Fox News just happens to be run by idiots who keep getting caught. Getting dirt on your supposed allies, your co-workers. This is how things work in corporate America, either tacitly or implicitly. Read the New York Times. Read the articles that have been written about Anthony Pelicano, the detective who was known in Hollywood as the fixer. Read about how criminal attorneys, divorce attorneys, would hire Anthony Pelicano to get dirt so that court cases would miraculously disappear. Plaintiffs would miraculously be willing to settle for a lot lot less or not sue at all. Divorces went away. Read about how Anthony Pelicano would give big stars accused of rape a heads up on what the detectives who are about to charge the big star, what they have on the star so that the big star would know how to alter his testimony so he could come across as innocent. Read about how Hollywood's top managers would hire Anthony Pelicano to spy on their very own clients, to get dirt on their own clients, to keep their clients from leaving or from suing them. You know, your client accuses you of stealing from them, been known to happen, managers and clients. Managers tend to steal money from their clients. You hire Anthony Pelicano, he digs up some dirt on the client you're stealing from, and your client suddenly goes, you know what, on second thought, salute. Keep it, it's yours. What do you think the CIA does? You think it's keeping us safe from terrorists? Or do you think most of its time is spent spying on our allies, digging up dirt to protect America's financial interests? I think most of the work the CIA does is protecting America's financial interests. 
by digging up dirt because it is dirt that makes the world go round. Why do you think Donald Trump became president? Why? Because everyone has dirt on him, including Putin. That's who the people in charge want in charge. Someone who has a lot to hide. Same goes for Biden. I'm voting for Biden. But the same rule applies to Biden. The old guard in the Democratic Party likes Biden because he can be bought. He's got things to hide. Now, that's the truth. He's got things to hide, which makes him attractive to the people who run the Democratic Party because it's easier to control somebody who has something to hide. Now, I want the Republicans to leave Hunter Biden alone. It benefits nobody to destroy th this man's life. Leave Hunter Biden alone. But when you're a crack addict who owes $1 million in back taxes, and at the same time, you're working with your father, who is Joe Biden, and your uncle Jimmy to make money, you're going to leave behind a trail. A trail that tells the people who run the Democratic Party Joe Biden has a lot to hide. We can control him. Put him out there in front. The dirtier you are, the more power you accrue. The Clintons were filthy. The Kennedys were filthy. The Bush family was filthy. LBJ was filthy. Filthy. It was their dirt that made them so attractive to the real people in charge. Politics isn't just about compromise. It's also about compromised people. If you want more money, if you want more power, then you must show me some dirt to make sure I can keep you in line.